We bring you the latest updates from the PNA newsroom. President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. said his administration vows to raise the profile in improving the working conditions of Filipino nurses here and abroad. Marcos made this commitment at the 100th anniversary celebration of the Philippine Nurses Association at the Manila Hotel. The president acknowledged the need to raise the salaries of nurses and address the uneven distribution of nurses in different areas around the country. Marcos also promised to open more slots for nurses abroad while striving to improve domestic opportunities. Marcus said the government will also pursue programs that will support the continuous development of nurses. He also said it was a pleasure to attend the PNA's anniversary because his father, the late President Ferdinand Marcus Sr., also attended the association's golden anniversary. The anniversary celebration coincides with the 65th Nurses Week celebration in its National Annual Convention 2022. Medyo hirap tayo sa pondo ngayon, kaya ta, sa ngayon ganyan lang muna pero ya, palagay ko, eh, binubuhay nyo yung may sakit eh. Ibang, ibang usapan yan, Walang, y -y -y -y, mahirap lagyan ng balor, ng dolyar, ng piso yung trabahong ginagawa ninyo. We know the value of your work and this is something that we know not only because of our personal experiences, but because of the experiences of everybody around the world, na kahit yung mga prime minister, kahit yung mga presidente ng mga ibang bansa, ay pinupuri ang mga nurse na Pilipino na sinasabi silang nagbuhay sa amin kahit dito sa aming bansa, hindi lamang sa Pilipinas. Another teacher has been accused of sexual harassment in a public high school in Bacoor, Cavite. Bring the total number of the accused teachers to seven. In a press briefing, Depp and spokesperson Michael Boa said an investigation is underway for the seven identified teachers. However, he urged the victims to come forward and file their affidavit for a case buildup. As added protection for students, Boa said the Education Department continues to strengthen its own child protection unit to prevent similar cases. The school division office of Baca Orca Vita, meanwhile, said the alleged sexual harassment case against the teachers could be isolated case, and that the rest of teachers in the National High School are committed to provide quality education to learners. If proven guilty, the seven accused teachers would be facing severe penalty and even dismissal. Basically, dun sa update po natin sa Baca Or. Um, the, the investigation of not only six, pero seven na pala na teachers yung na identified on through posts. Uh, patuloy yung investigation, but ang huling update po sa akin is by tomorrow, masasubmit na po yung fact-finding report sa ating regional office. So from then on, we will determine ngayon kung ano na yung next steps sa administrative proceedings against the teachers. Ang problema is walang masyadong mga complainants na nagpa-file ng kanilang mga affidavits. So sana po tulungan nyo rin kami ikayatin yung mga uh, alleged victims na lumabas po at mag-file ng kanilang affidavits para po mapalakas lalo yung kaso kung meron man. As Filipinos welcome to Vermont, the Philippine National Police is on alert status noting that crime incidents rise during this quarter. BNP Chief General Rodolfo Azurin Jr. said more police officers will be deployed in public places such as malls, shopping centers, streets, and other establishments to prevent crime incidents during the Burr months. He added that the PNP will also engage local officials and the public as well to do their part in protecting the citizenry. Mobile patrols and even members of the Special Action Forces will also be on alert, especially in crime-prone areas. As of in earlier said, index crimes in the country have been on a steady downtrend during President Ferdinand Bongo Marcos Jr.'s first 56 days in office. As always po, lagi po natin ina-anticipate ang pagtas po ng crime and pagdating po ng Bermans. That's why uh, ang atin pong... Uh, utos po sa ating uh, kapulisan, hindi lamang dito sa National Capital Region, ay kailangan po ay uh, nandudun po yung ating police presence. So police presence kasi mahirap po na sabi natin na visibility, 
mas maganda po na presence para nang sa ganun, ay nararamdaman po sila dapat. Nakikipag-ugnayan po dapat sila sa ating uh, mamamayan. At ito rin po ang utos po ng ating uh, kagalang-galang na sekretary ng DILG, si Sekretary Benhar Abalos. So we'll be deploying po ang ating mga mobile forces, even to the point of deploying po ang ating staff. Kailangan po ay all over po ang ating uh, kapulisan, specifically doon po sa mga crime-prone areas. The Department of Budget and Management vowed to speed up the processing of requests to release funds for the One COVID-19 Allowance or OCA of medical frontliners. The DBM said it will facilitate the release of around 63 billion pesos in funds once the Department of Health is able to submit all the documentary requirements. The DBM said it is coordinating with the DOH to make sure that healthcare workers would receive their COVID-19 benefits. In February this year, the DBM already released a total of 7.92 billion pesos for disbursement of OCA to over 520,000 eligible workers involved in the COVID-19 response. OCA recipients who are identified to be at high risk for COVID-19 will receive 9,000 pesos monthly, while those in moderate and low-risk areas entitled to a monthly benefit of 6,000 and 3,000 pesos respectively. That's the latest from the PNA Newsroom. Stay tuned for more updates on the biggest stories throughout the day. I'm Stephanie Savoliado. Good day.